Good morning and welcome to our Yoakum Hall tour at 10 a.m., part of our Facebook Live event. Um, right now we're just going to be right outside Yoakum. We're just kind of showing you what is all around it. So we have Yoakum, of course, and then what's going to be right next to Yoakum is going to be the brother-sister dorm, which is Humphreys. Mm -hmm. We can see Humphreys. You can we, see the top of it. As we come out here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and then right next to that super nice building is one of the newer halls on campus, and that's going to be Founders Hall. Mm -hmm. And connected to Founders Hall is going to be the Bruff Dining Hall, which is going to be your nearest dining hall that you'll go to for all of your meals. One of your favorite places, right? One of my favorite places. The best breakfast you'll ever have. They what make did, you omelets. What, yeah, what did you like? What did you put in your omelet? Um, I always put cheese and bacon. I'm very plain. Right. I put sausage in it one time trying to be like a little bit different. Uh -huh. I hated it. No spinach? I, Oh, good. Okay, Ew, all right, no. okay, enough of that. I hate spinach. So what else are we looking at here? Um, we're gonna have Kimple Hall, which uh -huh. is kind of the home of the journalism department. It has the uh, yearbook for Arkansas. It has UA TV down there in the very basement. And it also has a bunch of your English classes, communications classes. Mm -hmm. um, and then next to Kimple, which is gonna be this building right here. I know they look so similar. This is actually the Walton Business College. Uh, this is what Arkansas is really famous for. Behind it is going to be two more buildings, Willard J. Walker and J.B. Hunt, mm -hmm. which are either even more business-related um, right. buildings. So that's where you're going to go if you're a business major. This is your life, and you probably chose the best dorm because you can leave five minutes before class and get there right on time. Literally across the street. Literally across the street. There's also a really good Einstein's that is in Willard J. Walker, and mm -hmm. part of your meal plan, you get flex dollars. So you can use your flex dollars at the Einstein's. We call them dining dollars this year. Dining dollars. Dining dollars is Dang, the new terminology. That's a new so, yes, term. Dining dollars Switching is what up they're on called. Me. Um, so let me let me give one good. Yeah. This is such a tall hall that I think I'm going to come out here. Yeah. So and this try to give a good picture of the hall itself. A ten-story building. It's co-ed. Um, it's co-ed depending on the floor. 10 is like an all girl floor, nine's all boy, and then like eight, for example, one side will be all boy and the other side will be all girl. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you have your own bathrooms, you can't go anywhere, so parents don't freak out about that. <laughs> and it does house 530 students. Wow. So it's one of our bigger dorm or halls on campus. Yeah, so, this would be an example of our traditional residence halls. Yes, traditional. Um, kind of what everybody. Uh, <laughs> who's from an earlier time period yes. thinks of as a residence hall. So let's see if I can't get the picture of it in there. It really? is a big hall. You will have the best view ever. It's amazing. I lived here last year. So if you're living in room 809, it's amazing. 809 was your 809 room? 809 was my room. It's where I met all of my friends, you know, like my best friends I made here in this hall. And I was in a sorority and I had great friends too, but it's definitely all about the hall because you're living with these people so well let's head inside Molly yes. let's take a look it's getting a little hot it is getting a little bit warm here in Arkansas <laughs> um, there's a bike rack right outside of here so you can ride your bike uh -huh. on campus however between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday uh -huh. it's a walk zone only okay so well, if you're riding your bike which people do it's annoying um, but just try not to try to obey the rules now, did you bring a bike here? Did you have a car? I did not. Did it's just easier. Well, I had a car because I work at the Northwest Arkansas Mall, which is like mm. 20 minutes away. Um, but I just walked everywhere because it's so much easier. Gotcha. Really All right. Well, yep. if we could, let's uh, actually meet the coordinator for residence education, the, also known as a hall director here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. 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 What is your name? I'm Melanie Cassidy. Mm -hmm. um, this is my fourth year at the University of Arkansas as a professional. Um, before this, I was in Maple Hill South, and I'm really excited to be in Yoakum Hall now, back to the traditional style setting. So I'm really excited for you all to be here soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you for you're going to be joining us during the tour. Absolutely. And pointing out some things that you might know about that yep. re residents who are uh, arriving might also want to know. Yes, so absolutely. Sounds very good. Very good. Um, all right, so we're right now in the lobby of the area. I guess I should point out the fobbing system. Yes. That's a pretty important part. So every student, when you come in, you'll have, you'll check in when you first move in, you'll have a key and you'll have a fob. You can't get inside this building without a fob. If your friend wants to come, if they want to visit, they have to wait down here until you come down and fob them in. 
So it's one of the big security features that we have on campus, mm -hmm. and that goes for every single hall on campus. Five, just in case you don't know, five is an electronic key. So you yeah, don't it's just like a little circular thing. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. We do, you got one? There we there are. There she is. I have one right there. Excellent. Don't leave without this. Right. Yes. Yeah, and don't lose your keys either because right. it's your life. Um, so this is like the main lobby area. Uh -huh. We have two elevators right here. Sure. And right here is going to be the office. Okay. So, yeah. so what would happen there? Office, well, it, there's Miss Debbie in there. And so basically at the office, you can come if you had any questions. She may be able to help you. Mm -hmm. And you can also, when you get packages, instead of them coming to your mailbox, they'll come to the front desk. Okay. So you'll give her your student ID. She'll see what packages you have, and then you'll get them. Great. It's also where you can check out various equipment, movies, board games, things like that. Yeah. You can do, you can do that as well, as long as the desk is open. Okay. And as you mentioned some of the items that you can check out there. You said movies mm -hmm. and uh, uh, equipment for like table games and stuff yep. like that? Yep. So like your ping pong equipment, your pool table equipment. Um, Perhaps you need some pots and pans yeah. if you'd like to cook some dinner. Sure. Yeah, those are things that you can check out at the front desk. Right, because we have a kitchenette Absolutely. downstairs we're going to take a look at, we too. And we, you know, you may have a meal plan, but you may also decide you want to make some pizza or some cookies right. from time yeah, to time. Yeah, it's not unusual to, to, to smell the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, let's head on down, yeah. I guess, and look at this common area. We'll go to this common area, which is also going to have some mail. Uh -huh. All your mailboxes. Um, real quick, this is our water right here. Just mm -hmm. need to refill the water bottle. Yeah. And it's what number are we up to here? Ha! We are at sixteen seven forty. Okay. Yeah. Save Bottles of earth. water diverted. There we go. I Saving the earth. Okay. All right. So here's just some common space where you can come and hang out with your friends. You can study if this is one of your good study spots if you're that type of person. Mm -hmm. There's some tables as well, and then right behind here are going to be our mailboxes. So when you arrive on campus... Which one was yours? I was 188. Yeah. Right here. Um, so when you arrive on campus, always check your email because it's about to become your life. Mm -hmm. Start using that email for everything. So you and your roommate will actually share a mailbox and it'll be in an email which mailbox you are and the code to it. So you'll just use that code to unlock your mailbox and that's where all your mail will come from. Awesome. Yes, sometimes you actually get mail. My grandma sent me a lot. Really? So, uh, sure. Letters or care packages um, or both? Birthday present. Oh. She sent me money in the mail and then she just sent me regular mail about good old what's happening in Up Alabama. So. What's happening? Exactly. I'll sneak rodeo. Nice, nice. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, um, we have a lot of events in this space. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of programs that go on down here. A lot of free food at those programs. Yeah. So anytime you're looking for something to do, it's always good to check out this space. What kind of uh, food would you have? Uh, we might have some Rick's Donuts, okay. uh, perhaps some Qdoba, <gasps> always pizza. Mm. So yeah. Always pizza. And the programs, what are some programs that students who are coming in this fall might see in the first like weeks or Sure, in the first sure. Month or so. so in the first few, uh, first six weeks or so, we have like a dogs and donuts event where we're going to have What's our UAPD and canine officers come oh, and visit okay. with us and give you some donuts because that's always Pops. pretty important. <laughs> um, and we'll have our, I'm trying to think of some more, we're going to have um, a Namaste program, which will be a oh. yoga program. Wow. Um, led by Dr. Ed Mink in the, uh, health center okay um, and Fantastic. he's going to come and teach us some ways to reduce stress in those first few weeks because it's fun and then mid-september hits and those midterms yep start hit, coming up at you all so. the stress all the stress really like, fun. you can work it out in, in, in a yoga way mm -hmm. fantastic that huge tv that's a gigantic tv right absolutely. there absolutely okay I can wow. a lot of video game tournaments Really? Okay. Like well, that. Mario Kart maybe, or is that still a thing? Oh yeah, maybe some thing? Mario Kart with drunk goggles. Whoa! Yeah. All right. Well, let's um, check out then. I guess the ground floor, which has a, some more yes. common space, as well as the kitchenette. You can use the elevator down to the ground floor. However, we all need exercise, so we're gonna take the stairs. <laughs> we'll go down one floor on stairs, but when we go up to the tenth floor, we will be we'll in the elevator. Take the elevator. A tenth floor walk up. That's a little. It's really fun. Sometimes I did it just because I wanted to be daring. <laughs> oh, you. Yes. It's horrible. Horrible. It's easy to walk down the stairs on your way to class because the elevator, like everyone's trying to use it. But it's horrible to walk back up. 
So I noticed this sign right here that says explore. That's a big part. We definitely want you to explore the city when you arrive. And check out all the things in Fayetteville. And there's a map that tells you all the historic markings on there. Was there something you discovered your first year in the city itself that really stood out to you? In the, well, it's kind of hard because I'm from this area, so right, I, yeah. you know, I'm familiar with everything. I did not know about all the murals that we had, like the wall murals that we yeah. had around town, the American flag. Um, there's that owl, that really yes, cool owl. Yes, the owl that we saw. Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff that I, I thought I knew about Fayetteville, but when I came here, my friends were like, "Oh, let's go do this," and I was like. Well, what the heck is Briar Rose Bakery? Like, I have no idea what that is. Cinnamon rolls. The okay, best cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, rolls ever. <laughs> and biscuits and gravy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where me and my big, we would always go and have Saturday lunch or breakfast. Okay, so we're going to we'll do the laundry. Here we are. The laundry room. It's a little loud in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the laundry room. We have four, five, six, seven, eight washers and ten dryers. This is where you're gonna come to do all the laundry that you need. There's an ice machine. And we do have this system where you can scan this QR code with your phone on the washer if you had just put in your clothes. It will actually alert you whenever you're done washing. Um, it'll send you a text or notification. You can come down here, switch it from the washer to the dryer and do the same process over again. You don't remember what I'm talking about. There's a sign on the wall so you can download the app in the app store or for androids on google play and you'll just scan the qr code and it can tell you when it's done when there's some that are open so if you don't want to come down here and see it's a really good tool to use and also with your laundry that's included in your housing fee so you don't have to put in any quarters or anything like that and i because we know that some students would come down like 10 floors and be like oh no nothing's open yeah we don't want you frustrated that way definitely so, so you can check that. laundry alert and find out whether it's open yeah. or not because you have to remember there's eight washers and 10 dryers but there's 530 people that live here um, exactly so and i always remember my laundry was down here i just found it really nice to sit back here and i would do my homework back mm -hmm. here it's really not as noisy as you think you should put in some headphones it's good yeah and you got the tv yeah. plus everybody the TV. has their own screen now anyway so i know watch whatever you want on netflix oh my gosh yes i'm currently watching gilmore girls are you what yes. season are you in gilmore girl I'm, I'm on season one like episode six but it's really good okay okay so if you guys need a suggestion uh let's talk about trash okay so <laughs> trash you'll have a lot of it but this is the trash you at the bottom of the floor uh -huh. So on each floor, there is a designated trash chute where you're going to throw your trash inside of, and it'll come down here. Is there anything worth seeing in here? Or no, not really. Not really. Okay. It just smells bad. Yeah. It's trash. <laughs> but it all comes down from the very different yes. floors. Yes. Um, however, you do not throw cardboard down the trash chute, just regular trash. And do not put your trash into the bathrooms. Don't be lazy. Just walk it over to where the trash chute is and just drop it down. Please. I see you nod your head. Being a good neighbor, you know? Being yeah. a good neighbor. Throw mm -hmm. your trash away. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right. Well, let's uh, head on down. Unless you have anything about laundry. Mm -hmm. okay. Do it often. Do, Do your laundry yeah. often. Wash yes. your sheets. <laughs> Just because you take a shower at night and you think you're clean doesn't mean that your sheets are clean. So we have vending. We'll point out yes. the vending here. We have vending machines right here. There's four vending machines. This is not included in fees. Therefore, you're going to have to pay for it with your own cash your own card and it even has Apple Pay which we all discovered before we started this video which was really cool. So you can use your wristwatch to you pay for it. You can use your wristwatch, yeah. Um, so it's going to have snacks, drinks, coffee, tea, anything you can think of and this is also some recycling back here. So please take advantage of that because on campus we're all about being green and Absolutely. helping out the environment. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. Uh, we're happy to answer them. That's why we're here. And we point out this little anomaly, this little interesting development yeah. here. So, fun fact about Yoakum, way back when, Yoakum and Humphreys, they're like the two brother-sister dorms. So, Humphreys housed all boys, and Yoakum housed all girls. Well, the girls decided, they gave them an option, you can either have air conditioning or you can have telephones. Of course, us girls were like, we want telephones. So, we got telephones and have air conditioning, where Humphreys, they got air conditioning and no telephones. So that's why there's all these old telephone booths old right telephone here. Booths, yeah. You can't open them, but that's just a fun fact about yoga. Right, the so, old telephone booth. This place is so old that my boyfriend's dad stayed here. It's really funny. Cool. Multi-generational. Yeah, but it yeah. did get renovated back in 2016. Oh yeah, so we've it's been renovating really over nice. time. Trust yeah. me. 
So let's look at the uh, little kitchenette here. Yeah, so right here, it's kind of small in here. Oh, motion sensor. So this is just going to be your little kitchenette. You're going to have your oven, stove top, with the microwave and a sink right here. Um, and so basically, I would come down here. Like she was saying earlier, you can go to the front desk and you can rent out pots and pans. I made pizza down here, sugar cookies. You know, you really, if you don't want to take up space in your room and have a microwave, there's one right here and you can always use that. That's a really good tool to use if you don't want to buy one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, well, great, thank you. Of course, and we'll walk out this way. And this is the fun game room. Yeah, so uh, this room is probably used, you know, it's a common room as well. Mm -hmm. um, most programming occurs in the upstairs, or does it occur it down here, half and half? Yeah. yeah. For the beginning of the year, it's mostly upstairs in that first floor lounge that I was showed you earlier um, because we want you to be able to get there easy and quick. But there will be a lot of events down here as well. Um, but this is also used quite a lot with the ping pong table and the pool table. There's a lot of studying that can go down here. We got foosball. some foosball. And all of those things can be checked out at the front desk. So there's two foosball tables, it looks yeah. like. Two foosball. We're One. fancy. Board, whatever you call that. Billboard? No. What's pool. that? Pool table is what pool I call Pool tables, it. yes. Billboard is back in the game. A bumper too. pool or billiards, billiards, if you're feeling fancy. That's it. Billiards. Billiards. The fancy billiards. Yes, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, and there is a TV back here also, so if you wanted to watch anything, you can take advantage of that. Yeah. So we're ready to go check out some rooms and bathrooms yes. to see things? Okay. The, the part that everyone's been in. Waiting for. Yes, yes. We'll go up and check out one of those. Actually, we're going up to the 10th floor so that we can give you the the uh, penthouse view from Yoakum. And so we're going to be on the elevator, so. 10, like I said, is an all-girl floor. Waiting on the elevator. <laughs> and while we wait for the elevator, one thing to point out is my office is in the, in the basement. Yeah. So if you ever need anything, you can always knock, see if I'm there. I work regular business hours. You can always also contact me um, via email. And all that information is posted throughout the building. What would be something that you're usually contacted about? Sure. Um, if a student is wondering about what types of classes to register for, mm -hmm. or um, if they have maybe some, some conflict issues with their roommate, um, or if they're just looking for ways to get involved, mm -hmm. there's a lot of really great ways to get involved on campus, especially within the halls. We have Lead Hogs, which is a great option. We have Residence in a Hall Congress, which is a really great option. Um, and so there's so students will often come see me if um, if they're feeling really brave and they're mm -hmm. a asking for some help. Yeah. Um, and I always encourage students to do that. Transitioning to college can be a little bit difficult, and so um, that's why we have master's level position uh, professors or professors. I am not a professor yet. Um, <laughs> but uh, professionals, professionals who live in the different in the residence halls. halls. Yeah. And we have one pretty much for every hall. A couple of small going. Here we on go. every floor, we have these. You do have an RA on every floor, so that's where your RA is going to live. It's another person that, if you ever had questions or something, they're here for you. Mm -hmm. The I'm RA really apartment right RA. there. Yeah. Rachel, she was the best. Rachel was I the best. I talked with her. It was really fun. Um, and Rachel so, actually just married one of my former RAs. Rachel got married. Rachel got married. What the heck? Yeah. Right here live on TV. Oh. Connections. Beautiful. Now, yeah. I did notice this little saying here. Uh, what does it say? Number, you want to read it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, fun fact about Arkansas. We are the number one best SEC city, and we're the number five best city in the nation. It's actually all over the internet. If you don't believe us, we're not just like saying something, it's real. And I'm pretty sure we're like the number three best city in the nation, but we're at least five. But I think we've moved up to three. Fayetteville. Fayetteville's really fun. If you're not from here, like I said, there's so many food options. There's wasabi on Dixon Street, which is the big and famous thing here in Fayetteville. What's your favorite restaurant? Is it wasabi? wasabi. Yeah. Wasabi. So uh, let me ask you a sushi question, if you don't mind. Ooh, yes. Okay. Do you like sushi that has all the sauce and the cracklings on it, or do you prefer like just the simplicity of the Probably rice? Like the simplicity. The... Like they have the razorback roll, uh -huh. which is really good. Nice. I don't even know what's in it. I just my friend was like, "Hey, Molly, eat this one time." I'm like, "Okay, I'll eat it." It's delicious. It's really good. Okay. I like the chicken fried rice every single time I go. But there are places like there's a Qdoba, there's a Chipotle, there's 
our Sega's, which is a really good kind of breakfast, mm -hmm. kind of weird place, crepes, anything you can honestly think of, but that's coffee. Um, there's like shops up there, and then we have downtown Fayetteville. There's Double Stick. Let's check out the, uh, bathroom. the bathroom first. Yeah. So right here, we're in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, there's four bathrooms per floor. So if, you're, if this is the elevator, all of this side will use this bathroom. Um, so we're gonna have two bathrooms right here. We have two toilets right here. And then we have- So that's just a standard toilet. Standard. One is, there is an, an ADA accessible yes. um, toilet up here and too. That's on the other side. And there's four bathroom sets, right? Did you just yes, say that? Yes, four bathroom that. sets on each side. So depending on which side you are on the elevator, you'll use that bathroom. Mm -hmm. And there's four sinks right here. And this is the best part about yoga, I'm not kidding. The showers. So you have a little changing station right here. And then your shower, unlike every other residence hall, is really big. Like, it's pretty wide. It's very big. It's about a whole wingspan of Molly. So it's nice. <laughs> it's uh, one wingspan of Molly Wine. One wide. wingspan of Molly Wine. Okay. There's a shelf in here. Um, the water is always hot. And it's not cold like all the movies kind of say college is like. It's not. It's fantastic. Yeah. Right. And then you have that, that front room where you can yes, kind of change. Yes, front room where you can kind of change. Definitely one advice was bring a little shower caddy. You don't want to carry all of your things in your hand. That's something to use. Um, a towel wrap just to clothe yourself when you're walking from your room to the bathroom because there can be guys on the floor. It's, people have boyfriends and stuff. Um, and then bring a towel, of course. So yeah, that took a lot. Okay. Little bathroom. Shower shoes also. Shower, shower shoes. shoes, never forget. Never, never forget, forget shower shoes. Okay, so let's look at one of the ones that's called a chase. Yeah, um, that's this one. It I is know. this one down here. This I believe like it's the tent tent. And we just want to show you two different types of configurations of rooms so that you can see what's called, sometimes it's referred to as a loft, but it's really a, a chase room. This is the one? Yep. This is the one. Okay, so, right. the nice thing, if you got this room, they give you a wall-mounted flat screen TV. So that's always nice, you don't have to bring it back. So here's the detail we're talking about, is this wall right here. And you need to be aware of that if you're living in this particular type of room. Yeah, and all of this, this furniture is movable too. Yes. So most people who live in these type of rooms, they'll loft their beds all the way to the top, so it is a bunk bed. You can, something about no matter what room you're in, if you want to loft your bed, you can go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. And they can do that for you. Um, you can do it by yourself. We just say that you should probably bring a rubber mallet just in case. We have a few downstairs if you need to borrow them, but, but it's always best to bring your own stuff. Exactly. And as you've said in some of the other videos, Probably best to pack lighter rather than heavier. Oh yes, definitely always pack light. Do not overpack because you can always get stuff when you get here. You know, you don't necessarily need a microwave since there's one downstairs, but if you want one, like bring it, or you can always buy it here. You can have a mini fridge in your room. Um, I wouldn't get too many wall decorations just because there's a lot, and you don't have to bring all of your clothes at once. You can bring one season, and then when you go home for fall break, you can bring the other season. So it's just difficult when your nine hours, five hours, wherever you're from, so. Sure. Yeah. So we checked out the chase room. The um, chase room. We'll go now into a more typical room for yoga. Yeah. We'll go to the corner room. Mm -hmm. And this is just a typical yoga room. My friends lived in here. Yeah. All right. So this is gonna be your typical yoga room. Like I said, you can still lock your beds. Just go to that website I was talking to y'all about. Mm -hmm. And there are drawers right here. There's these shelves right here. And then there's chairs, which we will show you does something cool. So yoga, what everyone likes about it is how there's constantly people in, you're always hanging out with each other. So if you need more space for friends to sit, this turns into a little rocking chair. Very nice, yeah. very nice. And then nice. this is just like another chair, so I want to just sit on that. Yeah, and behind you, I want to be sure I show this great view. So we're on floor 10 we're here. On floor 10. And um, you can see Razorback Stadium. Being right currently there. worked on getting a Jumbotron. Mm -hmm. um, and then right next to that is going to be the practice field. And then you have the track and field. And then eventually you'll see Bud Walton Arena and you'll 
can't really see it, um, but it's a softball stadium as well. And then there's the regular stadium drive down there, um, gymnasi Arkansas Gymnasium. The rec center is one of a good thing to use. You'll have a gym inside that rec center, and then there's also a rec center inside the union. So from here, you know, I was kind of lazy. I didn't really want to walk down that hill and then have to walk that hill back up because it's really steep. Um, so I would just go to the rec center inside the union, and it has all of your ellipticals, it has treadmills, it has weights, it has everything. You can take a shower there if you're on your way to class right afterwards. And then I would go for meal trade. So meal trade starts in the union at 4, 4.30, depending on the restaurant. Go to Papa John's, that one's the best. Um, and so then you can go do meal trade there. Yeah. yeah. Well, does anyone have any questions for us? Um, or hey, let me ask, where is anybody from? Feel free to tell us where you're from and yeah. we'd love to know if you're coming here this fall. Um, hey, Melanie, I've got a question for you. Melanie? Yes. I've got a question for you if you don't mind. Um, I know we want to check out the study room as well. There's kind of a study room. Absolutely. Actually. So we'll check that out as soon as we finish our uh, calculations here. Did you have any uh, thoughts about when they're moving into these rooms or anything you might want to say about that? It's great if you don't. Yeah, I think bring less than you think you need. Mm. Um, the, as you can see, the, the rooms are not the size of your parents' house that you're leaving. Um, and so I, I heard Molly talk about bringing things in seasons. That's always a really good idea. Um, those big Pack plastic totes. Yep. The totes will be helpful because you can always store things when they're not in use. You've got a lot of space under your bed here. Um, if you're able to communicate with your roommate before you arrive, and that way you're not showing up with two refrigerators and two microwaves and two, you know, TVs and all those things. So kind of figure out who's going to bring what. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that that's always really helpful. And most of all, and this is cheesy, but I would say bring an open mind. You're gonna learn a lot really fast. Um, you're gonna have to navigate some new boundaries. And so bring an open mind. Think about what, what kind of things make you a successful person before you arrive so that you can advocate for those when you get here because we got a lot of staff that are excited to see you and wanna help. So this building has myself and then 16 student staff members we have Miss Debbie down at the desk, and Miss Debbie's worked here a long time. She will become your best friend. Mm -hmm. um, and then my husband and I live here with our little dog, Ralphie. Nice, so. nice. And uh, Rose points out, and a dolly. Doesn't hurt to yes. bring a dolly during the doesn't day. hurt to bring a dolly. If you have your own dolly, that would be wonderful. Um, you will be moving in through our back parking lot here, and um, we have a whole system worked out. So it's great to have your own dolly mm -hmm. when you come. Uh, Nancy is from Plano. Hey, hello Plano. That's where my next door neighbor was from. Yeah? She's from Plano. She asks, what is the clearance under the bed as they are currently, uh, as they're currently set up? As currently, well, we have our... Yeah, so they're kind of half locked at this here. point. This is sort of the configuration for wanting to put boxes underneath, but not necessarily wanting to study underneath your bed, right? Yeah, so right now it's at about 30 and one fourth from the ground. Mm -hmm. It's on the third riser from the bottom. Okay. Um, you can lift it all the way up to make a bunk bed if you want, if you want to put a futon underneath. Um, Do you mind giving me that measurement of what would be the top? Yeah. So if you're looking at doing it from the top, that's going to be right there. It's going to be like 56. Okay. Is or no, I'm sorry. There was one more. About 59. About 59 would be the, the maximum height the maximum. you can raise it. Um, and then you were able to give her that height as a yeah. And the lowest that you can do, which if you want to do the lowest. If we want to make it a low rider, how do we do that? 26. 26. Okay. Thank you very much for that question, Nancy. I yeah. appreciate it. Um, question. Yeah. Um, I guess we, maybe we can show off the drawers, just let them know kind of what kind of clearance we have in there. <laughs> yes, too bad. I'm trying not to hit that chair. Oh, yeah. Um, so these are all the drawers you have. Oh, someone mm -hmm. did not take their thing out. Okay. Um, but you can put anything you want in here. Like, sure. I put my makeup in here, so... No, I'm literally kidding. It was all makeup. I was going to say pencils. <laughs> okay. um, and then you have a little bit bigger drawer right here. This is where I put my textbooks. Mm -hmm. And then you have two more down below, which are all going to be the same size. So the smaller one is just going to be this top drawer right here. Gotcha. You do have your shelves that you can put anything up on. You have two outlets. Each person has two outlets on each side. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be outlets on your vanity mirror as well, where you can use anything. And also wanted to point out, 
If you did happen to bring a TV, here's an internet cable right here. Mm -hmm. You also have a remote that's in your room. Do not go back home with the remote, leave it here. Um, you will get fined for it, but you can plug this into your TV and you can have cable. Yes, including yeah. HBOs. Mm -hmm. Yes, including HBOs. And this is your thermostat too. You can control your own thermostat. Nice, nice. Um, I so guess one this, thing to yeah. note, mm -hmm. when you move in, um, we will take your ID so that you can fill out your room inventory form, and then once you return that, we will give your ID back. Um, but things to note on that will be any sort of wear and tear that you see in the room. That's just a good practice as, as you move forward in your life, you will be tenants in some different places. That's a really good practice. So some of the things you might note would be like there's some blue spots right there from Silly Putty mm -hmm. that people put on the walls. Don't bring that. It's not going to come off the wall, as you can see. So think about those things as you move in and put before you put all your stuff up. It might even be help, helpful to take some pictures because as I assess those things at the end of the year, I am so grateful when parents or students took pictures before they moved in. So yeah, some before pictures, never a bad thing to do. Never a bad thing a to do. Hall. Um, Rose points out the walls are brick, no nails. So no nails. keep in mind, no nails, no nails anywhere. Nails, no nails anywhere. Yeah. Uh, we mostly went command strips. Mostly command preferred. strips. If you do use command strips, make sure that you do know how to bring them down because mm -hmm. um, otherwise they can sometimes bring down the drywall. Obviously in this building, since it's cinder block, it won't bring down the drywall, but it can make the paint peel, um, which then causes some repair throughout the summer and unfortunately is a damage charge. Sure. So as you, you know, as you move in, think of this as your grandmother's house and treat it with a lot of respect. It's a grand um, old residence it's hall. It's a great residence hall. There's a lot of community. Um, I am very excited to be here. And you know, you'll just really, you're gonna love it here. Sure. Yeah. So let's uh, show off the study room because I kind of forgot to do that earlier. But uh, thanks for all your questions about uh, the residence hall room itself. It's not a great residence hall, it's the best. It's the best. Hall. You say without any the bias best. whatsoever. Check out this view here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is gonna be Bud Walton Arena, the softball stadium. You can see the baseball stadium, you can see the lights, which y'all probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's over there. And this is going to be Fayetteville High School that's right here. Yeah, the Bulldogs right there. Good dogs. Yes. Fayetteville. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, what are you studying, Molly? I'm studying advertising and public relations, which is a journalism degree here. Yeah, okay. It's going good. I am supposed to be a sophomore in the fall. However, I've taken so much credit, and I'm trying to get done as fast as I can. I'll be a junior. So I basically skipped a year. So Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Just, you know, trying to save my parents some money. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Trying yeah, I'm sure it. they appreciate that. Oh, well, I hope they do. So we have these uh, rooms here. Yeah, we can go inside if you want. So, so this, this is, is going to be a study room mm -hmm. or a study hall. But at first, we're going to be overflow rooms. Um, so it'll just kind of depend how many people come in. Mm -hmm. So this is where you can go to study. This is a big hopping place to be, let me tell you, because I could barely find a place to study because they're always occupied, which is good, parents. Very good, because you want your kids to study. We've got that white space right there. Yes, for people make to... sure you do bring your own Expo marker. Uh -huh. Just let you know, bring your own Expo marker. Your great thought. Problems. Great thoughts are going to be thought there. Yeah, good thoughts. Like. This is where you're going to make your A's, students, okay? Yes. You can make A's in college. I promise you I've done it. There's your white space right there to make it happen. And then the view from that side is going to be the business college and Harmon parking garage. Um, so, yeah, this is like the other side of the building. We're going to downtown Fayetteville there. Nice. It's my apartment for next year. Right hey, there. Molly, it's your favorite neighbor, Riley. <gasps> That's my neighbor. <laughs> I told her to watch. I was like, hey, you need to watch. Because we have a group text called 8th Floor of Alumni. Oh, wow. Okay. So like, still, keeping, still keeping in contact. So there's one of yes. these floors, um, one of these halls on every floor. Yes, on every single mm -hmm. floor. And it's right by the elevator, too. Okay. Great. Seriously, though, I made my best friends in Yoakum. They're all my best friends. Riley, who I was just talking about. She lived next to me. Um, just make the best of it. Do the whole open door policy where you just leave your door open mm -hmm. and just have the best time of your life. This is college. It's new. It's different. It's kind of scary, but it's really fun, and you can do it. Absolutely. Any final parting words for the incoming? See you in August. See you in August. Yeah.